Yeah. Damon, let's talk about those storms we are going to be getting. Yeah, you know, finally a change in the weather pattern, which is great news considering all that smog we had last week. This is a look from the Capitol building out across the Salt Lake Valley on Saturday. But on Sunday, cold front came through, helped to break up the inversion, scoured out a lot of that pollution. This morning, we've got fair skies, but there are some high clouds that are drifting in from the northwest, and those will become more widespread as the day progresses. Now, we're starting out at 30 in Salt Lake with a breeze southeast, 8 miles per hour. That makes it feel like it's in the low 20s. Uh, it is 21 right now in Vernal, a little bit below freezing and blanding at 29. And in St. George, it's currently 37 degrees. Now there's a storm that's moving into the Pacific Northwest, bringing some rain and snow. That'll slide across Utah later this evening. It's going to be weakening, so even though it'll bring us a chance of some precipitation, we're not expecting to get very much out of it. At ahead of it, it'll be 45 in Salt Lake, which does put us back up a little bit above average for this time of year, even though that's not nearly as warm as it was last week. It'll be in the upper 30s in Evanston, low 50s in Milford, 62 in St. George. Partly cloudy in the south, becoming mostly cloudy in the north. Chance of some showers later in the day across northern Utah. Most of what we get should be pretty light, even though there could be an inch of snow uh, later this evening into tomorrow morning in Cache Valley, the far north, uh, higher valleys. Uh, mountains could get one to three inches. We might even get similar amounts over the higher terrain of central and southern Utah, but most valleys will just get some light rain and snow in the north, and that'll taper off. A chance of some light rain showers in the south as well. St. George will hit 56 with the showers tapering off tomorrow afternoon and a much better chance of wet weather with a stronger storm that will be moving in on Thursday and Friday and then drying out by the weekend. And from northern Utah, we'll get a nice little break during the middle of the week. It'll be partly cloudy, but by Thursday, a good chance of some rain and snow showers with the possibility of accumulation down to the valley floor by Friday morning. We might even get heavy snow up in the mountains. Great news for skiing. Even better news for travel is that we should be drying out this weekend, even though behind the storm, it's going to be pretty chilly.